What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute since I talked about how you can make your own reaction uh, videos. And I've been seeing that people been asking about that. Y'all see, I turned this into the react. But I also wanted to do some tips on how you can start your own reaction channel as well. So that's what I'm gonna hear, be here showing you how to do it with OBS or you might have Streamlabs OBS, whichever you feel comfortable, whichever one you like. Pretty much the same thing. Once you figure out one, kind of works for all. So we're gonna check that out. Make sure y'all check out my other videos. I show you how to dispute. I show you the equipment you need. So you can pretty much get started with anything. You know, the main thing is, is just getting started. So I'm gonna try to demonstrate this to y'all, for y'all. Using Streamlabs myself, that's why I like to record. Uh, this is my other camera, so. But I like to use Stream Streamlabs or like, and to me, it, OBS and Streamlabs is the same thing. Work good. So let's jump into this. Sorry if the, if the volume, if the, you know, the audio sound bad. I'm not, I don't have my mic on this, but let's see. Hopefully this helps. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, guys. So we starting off with uh, Streamlabs OBS. So I'm going to show you all what you need to do in order to, you know, get the window to show and, you know, put you in there so you can start doing your uh your videos so over here we got scenes right here this is where you can add multiple scenes and of course you got a new scene you can name it that or name it something else all right we already got a scene up here that's empty so you see how it just add and you can go back and forth and this way you can use your hotkeys to switch scenes so maybe you're big and want to go small and i'll show you how to do that as well but over here first let's get me in the picture so my camera is linked up already. I'm on OBS doing, showing you the tutorial for Streamlabs. I'm gonna get on Streamlabs and show you the tutorial for OBS. So right here, first thing we need to do, if we wanna get on the screen, uh, we wanna go to video capture device. And with this, if you got a camera, me personally, and you can name it anything. Me personally, I have a Canon SL2, so, what I need in order to do this, I had to get a capture card uh, and you can get those for like 20 bucks. I think I've seen them at Walmart now, but you can get a cheap version of it and it still works the same. But I had to get uh, a input output HDMI with smaller end and one with the regular size end of HDMI to plug it up to my camera. And of course you see the EOS web utilities, you're gonna need to do that. But that's not a problem because we have the USB. As you see, I got my green screen behind me anyways. So uh, yeah, and you can either fit that to size. Like I said, I use green screen and I'm gonna show y'all what y'all can do with that as well in this video. But this is me and you can transform it. Just right click, transform, you can fit the screen. So there I am right there. As you can see, I'm green screen on here. So next, we want to be able to get YouTube. I know right now I'm on. Um, I made it, I made this big, so but I'm still gonna show you just the way how you can get YouTube on there. So you got display capture, and you're gonna have what I call Windows capture, right? Or what they call a Windows capture here, and that way it just capture your window. Like I said, you can name it anything you want to. It's gonna capture a window. All right. And you can see I got different, there's different things that can pop up, but because I got this big, it's not gonna pop up. So let me make this small. I'm gonna make the stream left small. All right, now we can do it. So now, boom, y'all see YouTube eventually popped up. Uh, like I said, I just double clicked and you see it became the Google Chrome right here. And I was able to click that. I just had to move it over and click on YouTube or something. Yeah, usually if anything happens, just click on YouTube and it should pop up. Just make a new one, just uh, erase that one, get a new one and it should pop up. And y'all see it's in front of my face. Just move it down. You can hold it and move it down just like that. And like I said, I got the green screen working. So I'm gonna show y'all that as well. Hopefully my mic is not doubling up. Let me turn that mic off. Sometimes it automatically goes, sometimes it don't. Uh, and now with my video capture, I have my green screen. I want to right click here, go to filters, edit filters. You can add a filter. So with my green screen, I got to do a chroma key. Everybody know a chroma key. All it is, is just getting your green screen 
boom you can adjust that to however you see fit because i have a couple of lights around me i have a light in front of me i have two little uh lights soft lights beside me so but that easy that simple so guys that's pretty much how you do that uh I probably, if you've seen this, if you made it this far, I probably took out the Streamlabs portion because it was just buffering, it was just messing up so much because I've been using OBS lately, but when I first started, I was using Streamlabs. But like I said, it's still all the same thing. It's the same instructions. It's just a different layout, that's all. But it's all still the same. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, whichever. I'll leave that below. And yeah, just ask questions. I'll get back to you as soon as possible, but I can't help you get started. So, but y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Appreciate you guys. I hope this helped. Y'all be blessed, be the best and be you. I'm out.